Good day, this is Microsoft Publisher, and today we're going to rotate an object, we're going to fill an object, and we're going to add bullets to a list. So the first thing I want to do is put a big border around this page. I'm going to get the rectangle. I'll start about the middle, right about here, and I'll drag it down, and we're going to change this rectangle and make it look like houses, because today we're going to make a for sale sign for a house. And so we'll choose a house. Maybe this cabin looks fine. We'll say OK and OK. So now I got a bunch of these. I want to put a big sign that says for sale. And I'm going to use an ordinary text box. I'm not going to use word art today. Just an ordinary text box and I'll draw a big box maybe about this big. And now I'm going to type for sale but my letters are awfully small. It says 10. I think I'll change them to 72. What do you think? And then I'll type in capital letters. I'll say for sale. There that looks pretty good. Let's change the font. I'll highlight it and say I want the stencil font, which I just used a little while ago. But I'll scroll on down. That's how you're going to have to do it. we got to go find stencil. Starts with an S. And uh, we passed it up. Here we go. Give it a click. That looks pretty good. Now, before the F, I'm going to enter. And after the sale, I'm going to enter. And I'm going to change its font to something a lot smaller. So I'll highlight that little blank spot I put up there. There's the blank spot. And I think I'll change those to 48. This one's going to be 48. And this one down here that I just highlighted, I'm going to make it a 48. You see, I entered down there. So now I got room. I can make my box a little smaller. How do you get this for sale words to be in the middle of the box? That's right, you center them. So you get in the middle of some place, and you find the center box. Oh, here it is. You could make it on the right. Yes, you could make it in the center. Yes, you could put it on the left. Yes, you could put it in the center. Center looks good. Now I'm going to take this box and I'm going to rotate it. Did you notice this little green circle? You could take this little green circle and turn it. Oh, look at that. You could rotate. This is a little rotation knob. That looks pretty good. I'm going to rotate it to draw some attention to it. People will pay more attention if something's a little slanted. That looks pretty good. I'm going to fill it in red. So I'm going to right click this box. Not down here. I'm on the box up here. I'm going to right click this box and I'm going to format this text box. It says, what color do you want to fill it in? No fill at all? Nope, I want red. So I'm going to go for more colors. I'm going to choose a red, say OK, and say OK again. Now I got black on red, so I don't like that. So I'm going to highlight these letters. I'm going to change the letters to yellow. I'm going to format the font. The font is the letters. Format the font that says, what color do you want? Black? No. I want more colors. I want yellow. Maybe this one. Looks good. Say OK and OK. Now my colors are yellow, and I could rotate it if I click on it and grab it. I can turn it this way, or I can go all the way. And, whoa, that's too much. So let's play around with it. Maybe something like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's put a big border around that thing. You know what? I think this is too big. I'm gonna make it. Eh, I'll pull it down a little bit. Let's put a border around a text box. Ooh, we put a border around the page, but can you put a border around a text box? Let's right click it and find out. We give it a right click and we say format this text box and it says would you like a line around your box? Yes I would. What color of a line would you like? I would like a black line. A black line? What kind of black line would you like? Would you like a dashed line? Oh my gosh, dashed line. And look at it, it has a little preview of the dots and you can say you know what I wish it was uh, thicker, 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 thicker. Ooh, look how thick that is. Thicker, thicker, thicker. How about five? That's pretty thick. Let's say okay. Hey, I have a little border around it. Okay, I'm going to put in another text box down here at the bottom. we got to show them that this is a good house, and we're going to tell them what's available in this house. So instead of 10, how would you make it 50? There's no 50 choice. Hmm, if you wanted to make it 50, you could just type in a 50 right here. So get rid of that 10, type in a 50, and enter. Oh, yes, you got to enter. And now I'll say, what about this house? It's got three BDRs. You know what a BDR is? Maybe we should say bedrooms. People may not know what a BDR is. Bedrooms, two baths, and a pool. Wait a minute, I can't see pool. It's because my box is too small. I'm going to grab it and pull it down a bit. So let me do that again. I will type enter and then I'll type pool. And if your box is too small, if your text box is too little, watch what happens. Hey, where'd my letters go? I can't see my letters anymore. It's because your box is too small. You've got to make your box a little bit bigger. Hey, that's much bigger. 
So now I want to put little bullets in front, little dots in front of each one so it sort of looks like a list. So I'll highlight my list and I'll say I want to put dots in and look at this. Look at this bullets. So I give it a click and ooh, there are little, little tiny dots there and they're so small I can't even see them. The words are 50 but the bullets are very, very small. Let's go into format. Under format it says bullets and numbering. Do bullets and numbering. It says yes, you got little bullets and they're only 10. Now your words, do you remember your words were 50 and your bullets only 10? So let's make the bullets 50 as well. So I'll get rid of that 10 and I'll make it a 50. Much better, I'll do okay. And now I got those little dots, but they, they look like they're too close. The numbers are very close to the dots. I'm going to highlight them and up here on the ruler, there's a triangle that goes up and down. There's a triangle that points down. There's a triangle that points up and there's a little box underneath that bottom triangle. I'm going to get this bottom triangle and scoot it over just a little bit, about like that. Hey, that looks much better. So that's bullets. You can change your bullets. You know, I don't really like these s simple black circles. I'm going to highlight all three lines. I'm going to go to Format and Bullets and Numbering again, and I'm going to choose a different character. And it says, what character do you want? Do you want something off the symbol font? Not really. There's lots of fonts to choose from. I'm going to choose the Wingdings font. It starts with a W. Wingdings, and then I can choose any one I want. Let's see, does anybody see something good? I could put mailboxes, I guess. Maybe mailboxes as bullets. Can I do that? Nah, eh, sure. You can choose whichever one you want. I'll just choose that one for right now, and I'll say OK. And one more OK, and I'm set. Hey, look at that. Oh, I think I have to put those a little bit farther away. So I'm going to grab this triangle that points up. I'm going to slide it over to the right a little bit. Not down, not up, just straight across right about there so I give it a little space between my little bullet oops sorry between my little bullet and my word so that's what it's gonna look like should we do a print preview file print preview you can see what it's gonna look like it's gonna look like this how's that look that looks great so we rotated an object we filled in an object and we added bullets to a list okay I want you to make this make a for sale sign for a house it's gotta have a bulleted list it's gotta have a filled in box and it's gotta have uh, a rotated box. Okay, ready, set, go!